Hi, this is Jeremy. I'm here to talk about photosynthesis. We left off talking about the light reactions that occur way inside the chloroplast in the thylakoid membranes using chlorophyll, exciting electrons. And the end result was we made a couple of energy carrying molecules, ATP and NADPH. So they're holding all of our energy. Now I want to move on to the Calvin-Benson cycle, uh, sometimes called dark reactions or just the Calvin cycle. I'm going to move this over. Let's give us a little template. This still is happening in the chloroplast, just out in the stroma, not in these membranes, but outside of those membranes. And I'm going to not give you all the details. There's a huge number of details we could talk about. But we've talked about water, gave up electrons, oxygen that was formed as a result. Now I need to bring in carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide, as you know, from the CO2 has a carbon and two oxygens. Our, for our purposes, we just really need to know that carbon dioxide is carrying in our carbon atom. That's the one we're concerned about. And so this carbon atom enters the Calvin-Benson cycle, which is a whole series of chemical reactions that happen and the end product becomes the first reactant, the first chemical to react with carbon dioxide, which then goes through the reactions and ends up the same. So it's a cycle of reactions. And that's going to be powered by partly the electron given by NADPH and some of the energy donated by ATP. And so as these two molecules keep shuttling energy over to these enzymes over here in the stroma, they're going to give their energy to the carbon. And as we pass through this system, this carbon will go through and attach and make a larger molecule and another one. And eventually we're going to string together several carbons Again, taking a lot of shortcuts here, and make a six carbon molecule known as glucose. There's a variety of branching points where we could make different molecules. This is just a clean model to take a look at it. But these sets of reactions are putting together carbon and storing energy there. Essentially, the electrons that were excited by sunlight. So in a way, when you eat plants, and you eat the sugars from those plants, you're eating a bunch of electrified uh, carbon molecules with liquid sunshine in them, in a sense. So that's the Calvin-Benson cycle, the second part of photosynthesis that makes sugars for us using the energy that we got from the light reactions. Thank you.